Marks with Go Derby. Go Derby! Yes. Yeah. We, so you, yeah, we were tweeting a lot about you because we really yeah. thought you would win. And it happened. Can you give us the happy dance? <laughs> Woo! No happy dance. No happy dance. Um, what are you going to use the million dollars for? Do you have plans already? Uh, my best friend and I just started this t-shirt company, the t-shirt that I'm wearing I was wondering today. about it. Yeah. Uh, it's actually Joey Amazing, Joe, Joe Hangel. It's actually his design. Uh, but we, we, we bought it from him and we put it on our t-shirts. Uh, so yeah, we just kind of started this company about a month and a half ago. Uh, and a lot of that capital is probably going to go into this company. And then also do, do a couple of nice things for some people. Mm -hmm. yeah. One of the best parts of the finale, you don't even know this, we were sitting behind your mom in the theater and seeing her reaction for the challenges, I'm assuming she didn't know if you won or not because her reactions were so, so good. And then after you won, you, you almost tackled her, she almost fell over. <laughs> if I would have dropped my mom on national TV, I would have never, never lived it, the end of it ever. Thank God that that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. My mom is one of the most amazing, beautiful, uh, outside and inside people that I've ever met. She has such a great capacity for love, just loving people, just being around people. And that's where I get it from. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's just it, her being her uh, has made me who I am today. Um, so, her, my, my dad, the man I call dad, Don Couch, and, uh, and Jesus, of course, you know, made me into this guy who I am today. So. Was that the best reward you won, getting to spend time with, with your mom on the show? Uh, well, don't get me wrong, that reward was awesome uh, for me. But no, it wasn't the best reward I won on the show. The best reward I won on the show was the orphanage reward. Oh, yeah. And I mean, dude, there's a moment that would have never made the cut, but I pick up this little boy, and you know, I'm two-stepping with him. I'm from Texas, so you know, we two-step. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm just kind of two-stepping with this little boy, and we looked at each other's eyes, and we locked eyes, and it was a, it was a human moment. It was a moment where, I mean, the kid's four years old. He doesn't understand everything that I understand. I don't understand half of the stuff that he understands. But it was a moment that we both shared. And we both just started bawling. And just to even, just to even take five minutes, five minutes, which it was much longer than that, but just to take five minutes to be able to spend with these kids. And if, if, if you can't give back, if you can't give five minutes of your time to some kids, or whoever, anybody for that matter, Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of person, you know, really, really are you? But no, that, that reward, being an ambassador for a survivor, I'll never, never forget that. It made such a huge impact on me. So many people were rooting for you, and every week you won the immunity, you won the immunity. If you had, if you had been voted out a couple weeks ago, who would be the winner? Rodney. Oh, interesting. Right there. Not Carolyn. Nah, I think Rodney wins that game. Uh, the, the, the crazy thing that Rodney had going for him was, besides pulling together a crazy alliance, mm -hmm. hello. Right, and you called that alliance, by the way. No one believed you. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> uh, you know, that, that's neither here or there. Uh, but the, the thing with Rodney is he's got so he's really funny. The kid's really funny. And at the end of the game, whenever you're tired, oh my God. you've got so much going on. Humor goes such a long way. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know that he would have won, uh, but my money probably would have been on him. He does a great impression of you. Do you do a Rodney impression? Oh, oh God, no, I can't. I've tried. Like, he even got me on the phone and like coached me. He's like, he's like yo. It's my birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at impressions. I can barely do, I can barely talk myself. <laughs> uh, well, you've done a lot of interviews today. Yeah. Uh, so I guess final question. Yeah. What's your favorite moment, besides winning the million, favorite moment from the season? That's a good question. Favorite moment? In terms of your game play, like one game move. It's, it's hard not to love fake playing the idol for sure. Yeah. For me. Uh, because I knew that they, I knew she was going to go home. But I hoped that she wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, the plan ultimately worked. We showed Dan where he was, even yeah. though he chose not to listen. Yeah. We showed him where he was. But yeah, I mean that was a that was a that was a pretty cool it's a pretty cool tribal council. Yeah. Uh, and then of course you know Jeff Sam, the winner. Yeah. That's that's a cool moment. But uh, yeah, being there in that moment, doing the idol, watching everybody's reactions, watching Jeff come in, lock it down, lock it down. <laughs> Don't you, the Roddy looks straight, Carolyn looks straight. You know what I mean? It was it was it was an awesome just I don't know. Hour, whatever it was. Thanks so much.